that boys and girls. Just get the legend in. First thing you notice over the simplex, carbon fibre, lower stem. Another thing I noticed, coil lugs, nice and thick, just like the simplex. Well made, not flimsy that would snap and stubble. Real well made, coil cover on it. Feels nice and light. Good cable, good connections. Nice soft cable, no one of the brittle, kind of hard plastic covers. Nice and soft so that it wraps around easy. So, comes in a nice neat box, a wee bag for the headphones. The arm strap, charging cable, rubbers, and a nut. Good thick bolt, no wee flimsy thin thing, it's going to snap. So, why these wee things make a difference? They don't like, they'll not leave you in the field stranded. But it's always good, remember to carry a wee couple of spare rubbers and bolts just in case. You never know what's happening. There we go. Wee holes there in case any water gets in it, see it can drain out the bottom. Always good to be that a fiver. Put that in the right way. There we go. Should be something that way. Let me see. So you always need to watch out for. I do this quite regular. Put it on back to front. So put that in to the rip. And then you know what way it goes because that goes to the bottom. Right. Absolutely, look at that snug fit. Now you've got the bolt in, perfectly snug fit, no space to make it wobble. The wobble is what causes the, the for you to over tighten because it's, there's too much of space there. What happens is you need to over tighten it and it ends up snapping the coils, uh, the coil lugs. So that's a really nice fit. Uh, good quality rubber washers. No wee cheap thin things that wear out in seconds. And that again, that's what causes you to over tighten. You don't need to over tighten that look. That's hardly tight and it's no moving. It's no very flop of it in the field, which is excellent. I hate that when the coils flop in the other place. You can feel a wee bit of weight here compared to the rest there. That's where all the gubbins are. That where the coil goes and that's where you charge it in there. It's got a wee wire here, see it, to make sure you don't lose it. So is it Okay, and that's what you do your updates if there's any updates. Nice user interface. It feels really nice. Nice handle, good grip, good rubber feeling. It's no cheap plasticky stuff. It feels quality made. It's in here. And that's that right into the top. So if I stand back, how you would set it is. Um, you don't want this right to the edge like that and then it's flattened about the other place. You want to try and get a wee balance between them. So what I usually do is, I'll bring that out so it's too long. So halfway, so it's past this bit. Clip it down and the way you set your machine up is you put your toe in front of your other toe and you put the edge of the coil, see this bottom bit of the coil, you put that to the front of your toe, back straight, shoulders back, nice and relaxed, so that your arm isn't, uh, you're not overextended and you're not bent. So you want to, I see some people in the field, well quite a lot of people, and the machines are really overextended and they're swinging. One, it's hard to recover each sweep. Two, it can cause repetitive strain injury, especially on stubble fields. And if, even if you don't play, there's a weight in the coil. So you want that, just in front, it doesn't need to be exactly in front. As long as your arm's straight, shoulder back, then you do that, clip it shut. That's your machine set. Then, when you're setting this up, what I always do is tip this forward a wee bit, and then turn that round once, like so. Put your wee Velcro strap on it, so as it holds it in place. Let's see. 
Well, makes a difference, you know. Nope. So that goes in there, that keeps that nice and tight. And the reason you tip that forward is, now that when we do that, there's a wee kind of loose bit here, see it? That's so if it gets dumped, boom, it's not going to put any strain on this. So that's where you keep that there. And then you can move it just to there. That's perfect, see it? You don't want a big bit of coil, just a wee bit. And then you just wind it round, nice and easy, up to the top. Go to that again. That'll go in there like right so. Go right up on. Just turn it. And with these you usually need to push them in. So make sure they're pushed in. So you tighten them up a wee bit and then push them in again. So once you start tightening, push it in again and it'll move in again. Push in again, that's it. Nice wee chunky. You can feel it clicking when you're turning it. Right, we've got another wee, a wee bit of Velcro. Stick that in, it saves your coils, cable getting moved about and damaged. Alright. Now I'm going to put this on charge probably, so I'll see how much charge is in it. And then when you've got arm rest, always do it so that when you're putting it through, it catches at this side. It's just for when I used to use the weights machines years ago, that's what they done. Well that's what I've done. I'm not seeing everybody done that. Put that through. Because I don't like putting it over here and tightening it. I like tightening it that way. It's just find it a wee bit easier. So that goes through here like so. I'll have this at the dig on Sunday. Then you want to come and have a look. See what I mean? That catches there. So when your arm's in, there, like so, you just do that rather than try to do that. So just screw a wee bit slack. I've not read the manual. Well, there's three wee screws here. I'm not sure if that would adjust in, but it's perfect the way it is. Just perfect below the elbow. This one's here. The legend has arrived. And then it's just a nice, see what I mean, the sweep. Perfect arm straight. That's us. So, next version is when it's on. Alright.